Ukraine on stage. Mr. Petro Poroshenko, President of Ukraine, 2014-2019, the role of financial institutions in the reconstruction of Ukraine. Hello to you, sir. My dear friends, dear Mr. Chairman, all the participants of this Congress, first of all, thank you very much for the great, great, great hospitality. I feel this hospitality because this is the first time when I appeared abroad after 103 days of the disastrous Russian aggression. I try to not leave Kyiv in the most difficult day when Russian troops stay right on the border of Kyiv, where battalion which was created with my participation stand on the Irpin River near the Irpin and Bucha trying to evacuate 20,000 people, saving their lives from the Russian barbarian. But I speak about the hospitality to 4 million Ukrainians which find out here the shelter. And uh, this is not just an initiative of the Polish authority, Polish president, Polish prime minister, Polish government. This is the direct demonstration of all Polish people, government and opposition. And there is no any Ukrainian fatigue, because everybody understands that we are fighting here for our common European future. And the danger of Putin is existential for the whole Western world, not for Ukraine. And I'm proud that we, together with you, surprise the world. <laughs> Despite of the fact that Putin said that he need only 36 hours to capture Ukraine and to have a military parade in Kyiv, some NATO generals saying that they need, they give us not more than 86 hours. And we, Ukrainian. First of all, Ukrainian armed forces, and I'm proud that in the year 2014, with your assistance, we create Ukrainian armed forces. And a significant part of our soldiers learn in the Lublin Brigade and in the Yavoriv Training Center of NATO, first time in our history. Then there was a platoon and company commander, today they are battalion and brigade commander and surprise the world. Point number three, two, this is the Ukrainian who surprised the world by our unity, because world before 24th of February and world after 24th of February, this is completely different world. And Putin definitely expect to undermine our stability from inside and we don't give them any tiny chance. And I keep my fingers crossed that we will keep this unity further. Point number three, Poland surprised the world. Because everybody understands that our discussion in the past will stop our unity in the present and in the future. And you don't allow Putin to implement this scenario. And second, world surprised the Putin with their unity and solidarity with Ukraine. And this is definitely the great basis for our future victory. We are in a very difficult situation, and I recommend for everybody take out the rose uh, glasses. We have an enormous difficulty, challenges ahead. They say that we have more than 40% falling of GDP. Does anybody, any country in the world uh, go out quickly from such a disastrous situation? Even now we have more than 20% inflation. We have an enormous budget deficit. 30% of our industry is destroyed by Putin. And 20 more suspend by the war. And in that situation, why we are still optimistic? Because we are together. Because all the world is with us. And because I absolutely 
confident that we together develop the plan. In the previous panel, that was a very good question. What should be the plan? Does it should be done only by Ukraine or for the whole world? It was a great answer for our Ukrainian partners, including Mr. Pinzenek. I propose you a different way of answering to this question. Before the hand, what we said, the proverb, money loves silence. This is not anymore for the world and for Ukraine. Now, money loves transparency, money loves trust, money loves efficiency. And with this situation, only our cooperation and coordination together bring to Ukraine, not only to rebuild our economy, but to modernize country. And with that situation, definitely we need well-organized work. I'm very much proud that the European Commission, together with the United States, together with the G7, introduced the sanction. Six package of sanction were introduced last week. I have a meeting last week with the Rusula van der Leyen and think that this is a diff absolutely uh, enormous demonstration of the unity of European Union, which Putin also do not expect. But now we should be prepared for the next package of sanctions. And I think before the introducing gas sanction, we now should work hard a couple of weeks to replace Russian gas and to save from uh, take out from Putin the mechanism to use the gas or oil as a weapons. We do not give them this chance anymore. My proposal that it should be not only personal sanction, it's okay. Definitely we should finish the banking sanction. All Russian banks should be swept out of SWIFT, including Gazprom Bank. But seventh package of sanctions should be exterritorial. What does it mean? We should stop all Russian export. Because this export financing missiles and air bombs in Ukraine now and who knows where in the future. I'm proud what we do and I want to thank you for the recognition Ukraine reached after year 2014. I just want to remind you that when I uh, was elected as a president and our government has on the treasury account, can you imagine how much? $10,000 for the whole Ukraine. 10000 The golden currency reserve was minus $3 billion. Country was a bankrupt. We don't have an armed forces. And with that situation, we do more reform than 20 years before us. And the main things of this reform was aimed to build up the competitive economy with a deregulation, and that's work effectively and we have four years of the economic growth as a result of this reform, of the decentralization, and I want to thank our Polish partners, because German and Polish was help me, my team, and Ukraine to build up effectively functioning decentralization model. And now the mayor, the city council, is the fortress to fight against Russian aggression. Empowering business, repaying VAT. Most important thing, we create the independence of national bank. We clean all the banking and financial sector from the bank with which altogether on the banking system there was 80% of the NPL, eight zero. And now we build this type of banking system that even during the war, they are properly functioning. This is our joint result. 
deregulation, and everything which now preparing that we are ready to continue the reform. And the key issue for this reform is the rule of law, is the democracy, is the freedom, because we prove to the world that democracy, what Putin think before uh, the aggression, that Europe is weak, and Ukraine would be something like it, uh, Afghanistan under attack of Taliban. And we demonstrate that democratic country with the people united is much more effective than autocratic empire of Putin. That's why I have no doubt that we will win. What we need more? Marshall-like plan. What would be the source of the finance of this plan? Definitely, we should find out the legal basis for using the Russian gold and currency reserve as a first part of these things. And second part, and I want to again thank Poland for that, that was a trust fund which started to create it in Poland. And I think that was a great success that $10 billion were collected for this very short period of time. And with that situation, I'm absolutely confident that we need now to have three important preconditions. Without that, all our efforts would have much lower level of probability and level of success. Point number one, let's have it that this is a perception which all investors want to see. Perception number one, please, candidate status for Ukraine. Without that, it's significantly more difficult to build up the trust for the investor. And we can do that in the next summit of the European Union Council. Please, we don't need any acceleration. We don't need any first track. No, we need just now candidate status. And then Ukraine second time surprised the world by our uh, speed of the reform because we will meet the criteria much faster than any other country because this for us is a, is a factor for survival. Point number two. War should be win, not finish, but win before end of the year. Because again, this war is ex exist, uh, have a uh, danger for existence for the whole Western world. And that's why we should mobilize weapons, sanction, embargo, and assistance. Because can you imagine that the game changer factor is just I don't know, 500 tanks, 1,000 armed personnel carrier, 1,000 artillery system, and 100 jet fighter. And the future of the world. And with that situation, definitely, before end of the year 2024, war should be finished. And third factor, this is the Marshall-like plan. All three factors bring us to the definite success of Ukraine. Now, who would be the coordinator of all the international donor assistance for Ukraine? Definitely would be one coordinator. It is different version. US, G7, everything possible, but one. In this coordination would be international financial organization, IMF, World Bank, IFC, everybody. I prefer that this coordinator would, have, would be a European Commission. Why? Because immediately upon receiving the status, the European Commission will follow and support reforms in Ukraine for meeting the criteria. I know exactly what does it mean, because it was me in the year 2014 who signed up association agreement, and we implemented more than 60% of the points, which is in the multi-pages documents. I uh, implemented the deep and comprehensive free trade agreement who saved Ukraine after the Russia uh, announced the embargo and sanction on all Ukrainian products. 
We have 44% of the European uh, market uh, share in the total trading balance of Ukraine. We have a visa-free regime. In a few days, it would be anniversary of the visa-free regime, and that is the very powerful factor for moving Ukraine in direction of the European reform. And now we are one of the most European optimistic nation on the continent. And with this situation, definitely, we know what to do and we know how to do. And the final step would be, and this is our joint efforts, we need to deputinize Europe. We, don't, we shouldn't give any chance to any politician, any political party, any independent expert who presented absolutely stupid report about how dangerous would be the oil or gas embargo. This is the instrument and documents paid by Putin. We should stop them using this opportunity. And we should denuclearize Russia. Because Russia with the nuclear weapons in the hands, all the time. We bring the danger to any of European nation, including Ukraine and Poland. And that's why it's important. Principal money in return for reform, which represented by European Commission. Ukraine needs this plan, and I think that this type of Congress, which we are providing today, that would be extremely helpful if we create some analytic center who will develop and propose the decision, both for European Commission and for Ukrainian government. I think that would be absolutely great idea. And it is by Ukraine integration miracle that we could solidarity implemented as a European project on the European continent for good. I strongly believe that that is possible. That's once again, within next months, we waiting. Candidate status for Ukraine and European Council. By the way, membership action plan for NATO on the NATO summit in Madrid. And developing strategy plan for reform, which lead us to success. Slava Ukraini. Poroshenko, były prezydent Ukrainy. Jesteśmy z Poroshenko, former president of Ukraine. We are with you. Thank you so much for honoring us with your presence. Thank you for this bold um, present, uh, intervention. We really hope that the end of the war is really close by as possible, really close. Now, a very brief lunch break. We have only half an hour, okay? Because